Hi everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. Um, I'm just about to wake Holly up I think and little Pete is still asleep but look at how well her garden's coming along. That's good isn't it? So I think we'll wake her up just now and Pete needs to use the potty so we'll just uh, let him out of his crib and then we'll go and we're too hungry okay we'll go and have a quick meal and some cereal and it is Pete's birthday today so that's quite exciting and um, Pete how about you go and use the potty <laughs> all right there you go and then you can just clean up all your dishes oh my goodness all your dishes and then you can just feed him on the floor and then you can go and tend your garden oh did you really do that pete okay okay so i just have our tender garden uh really quick we do need different fencing because it is like anybody could just walk up and get our garden. Not that I think they would, but you never know. I mean, some people out these days. Right. Lettuce. Watermelon. We're just going to sell these lettuce seeds, I think, because I don't think we really need them. Uh. And this lettuce here, like that. Um, can we plant? We can't plant that. We can't plant that, and we can't plant that. But there's tomatoes. I don't know what kind, like what our tomatoes are. I hate how that you have to only have one to see the like details. Uh, so we we'll put them away. Yeah, and we've still got 40 simoleons to make until we get a promotion. Uh, are we done? Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, we're going to use the toilet and then I see if she still needs to do more. Alright, um... No, that's us done with our garden. So I think we will actually just clean the toilet because it is filthy. And, and then we'll have a shower, oh, clean and then shower I suppose. It's not the nicest day to take um, little Pete out, but I wanted to do something nice for his birthday. What do we know? Like, have we got any like friends? Only really, only really him, George. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to throw my party. <clears throat> Maybe we'll throw him a party. Um, I did. Oh, why do you always go break everything? I did want to go and play in the ocean, but it's really not the weather for that. Like, it's really not. Unless we go for a stroll. No, it's really not the right weather for anything like that. Where is the no nearest sea? Where is the nearest water? Like, where's the nearest beach to us? I don't even know. Like, it's such a bad day that we're, we'll, we'll throw him a birthday party and we'll just invite George over and that'll be it. Um, bit of a lame party, I know, I know. But, uh, can we, like, recycle these? And then we'll throw a party. My mouse is making a funny little squeak. I throw. Oh, okay, well, I'm too late for that. I suck. My parenting skills, I freaking suck. <laughs> okay, come on then. Speed's birthday. Are you seriously just gonna watch TV? No. Uh, you didn't even celebrate your own son's freaking birthday. Right, due to excellent parent skills, you may now choose a trait for Pete. Um, 
So he's brave and excitable. Will we give him... Um... I can't remember what traits came with generations. Like, I cannot remember. I kind of want to give him, like... Um... Mm. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We'll do it another five times and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. Night owl. I don't like that. Neat. Supernatural. Mooch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, um, I don't know. Let's just give him a good sense of humour. There we go. And we need to get rid of that little ponytail because I do not like that. Uh, okay. First, before I could do... I don't really want to spend money. Oh, we're going to have to spend money anyway. What am I talking about? Because, yeah. He kind of needs a bed. <laughs> So let's get rid of these. So we don't need any of that anymore. Um, so firstly, he's going to need a bed. So we'll just give him... Will we give him bunk bed thing? Yeah, I think we will. We'll give him the blue. Like that. Put that there like that. Um, I do have a nice night light somewhere. Like, I can't remember where it is though. He needs a dresser. <laughs> He's all at monies. <laughs> he can't just have a bed. Come on, we need more money. Um. Okay. Well, this is the only dresser that we can afford. I know it sucks, but that's all we can afford. We can afford a murder only just though. Only. Only just. Um, let's put it on this wall actually. I think it'd be better there. Um, maybe move this over to this wall too. I don't know why I had it on the other wall. Yeah, I like that. I suppose that'll have to do. Poor Pete. She wants another child. You will have another child. I promise. And we want to put this here. Into Pete's uh, thing so you could have nice dreams. We'll change his appearance and we will plan his outfit. Well, she invites over... Um, why can I not see it? Am I really being that blind right now? Invite over. Yeah. Uh, George. Here we go. Um, close that. Playing no shame. Oh, we can still play in no shame with Pete, so that's good. <laughs> right, so that's what he looks like. So let's just change his hair to something a little bit nicer than what he has. One of the ones that came with Generations, I think. I kind of like the long one on him. Like that. I don't know. I kind of like it. Uh, fix his eyebrows though. Or is that too girly? Um. Yeah, we'll give him the long one. And then we'll change his clothes to something from Generations. Um. Alright. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Oh, is he, he's not impressed. Right, uh, go and repair the shower, please. Alright, his room sucks and I feel so freaking bad. And we'll have two Somalian surname. <sighs> and I will not cheat tire of fuels. Right, oh my goodness. Um, every day. 
Okay. So we're looking for one that came with generations. I like this. But maybe the one with the dinosaur. And then... Are these jeans? And then... Maybe like... Why is his hair like that? I don't want his hair like that. Maybe we need to sort his hair again. Ah, uh, what are these boots? Meh. Those shoes are too girly. <laughs> these are girls shoes! Come on! Look at that! <laughs> Those are girls! They can't have them. Right, well... No... Just give them like white trainers. Will do. Um, sleepwear. Dag, dag. Um, give them these because I love them. And outerwear. <laughs> um, I think everything's fine, kinda. But, um. Mm, Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. I don't like his little purple gloves, so I don't like that. Um, blue gloves? Go with your blue shoesies. That'll do. Um, and we need to change his hair again because silly me must have forgot to lock the hair selection. So, silly, silly me change appearance. There we go. And he's invisible. Right. Why is his favourite colour anyway? I forgot. Blue. Um. Right. And George should be here soon. I really want to get him uh, moved in or you know get engaged or whatever. Uh, lock it. There we go. There we are. And that should... No? Right, you know what Pete? Change into your everyday so I can see what's going on with you. Because I definitely locked at that time. Good. How about you for us since your mum's uh, busy right now? You invite him inside, out the rain. Alright. Okay. And how about you be a good little boy and mop up the puddle as well. She goes and uh, tries to get you a future father. So, consider attractiveness. Um, talk about your family because it's your son's birthday. Um, ask about his career. And... Um... Give him a... Compliment his appearance. And his personality. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Yada yada. And he got a 10 out of 10. Um, mop up that puddle. Okay, and I mop up that puddle. Ugh, really? Uh, for goodness sake. Come on. Get it together, Pete. Mop up the puddle now. There you go. Oops. There we are. Um... Romantic and do you want to stay over? Romantic and hug him. Are you going to bed there? You do not sleep there. You sleep here. Uh, actually, you know what? You can check for monsters. Check for monsters under your mom's bed. I mean, you don't sleep there anyways, do you? All right. Um. 
No monsters. Oh, maybe. Oh, there's monsters. Uh oh. Monsters are new. Monsters are totally real and they're under the bed and totally want to eat up Pete. Panic! Okay, well, it's a good job you sleep in that other bed. <laughs> to use the toilet. Um, do you, I don't think you have enough money for. Okay, well, I guess you do. No! George! Do not sleep in his bed! George! 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 Stop it! Wake up, George. Oh, um, get out of bed. Right, Pete. Quick, go and get your bed before he steals again. Go and sleep. <sighs> Goodness me. Uh, romantic. Um. Okay. No. 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 <sighs> Don't make me get angry at you, George. George. Stop it, George. Oh my god! S quit being a king and go and get your bed before your stupid future father keeps on stealing your stupid bed. George. No, George. George. You better wake up. Oh. <laughs> I guess he just jumped down instead of using the ladder. Okay then. Right. Okay. How did your hunger magically go up anyways? Who knows? Right, go and get your freaking bed before that stupid man gets it again. Right, you distract him by flirting. So he doesn't try and steal the bed again. Give him a heat of the moment kiss. See if he likes it. This could be awkward. Pete's just like, I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> get your own room. Right. Okay. So we're now romantic interests. Um, how about we woohoo? How about that, huh? What are you doing? Oh, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. And off they go. All right. Dang, George, still in the bed. Okay. At least we managed to distract him, though. Like, at least we managed that. Oh, gosh. Right. Right. Uh, okay, so I guess everybody's going to sleep. And little Pete. We need more money for this boy. We really need to get um, George moved in. What is our relationship? We're, our relationship is actually really good. And we are best friends with Pete. Which is good. But we only have one girlfriend. So we need to meet more girls. We're, we're not even friends. We're just... We're aware of each other's life, basically. <laughs> um, existence. Right. Maybe when she gets up she can use the toilet and she can continue cooking up some food. That'd be good. And then we can go and get our garden sorted and hopefully get some money. And it looks like it's going to be an alright day so maybe we could play in the ocean with Pete today. Um, maybe you can go for a shower before your mum gets up. And then you can just have a quick cereal or something. Um, he's going to take forever because he hasn't changed outfit yet. I don't know what is up with my games doing that. It's really annoying. Um, but he does have the mood lit from sleeping with his teddy bear. Teddy bears more... Wait, that didn't make sense. Teddy bears make... Excellent sleeping companions from Stuffed Animal. Alright. Oh, do you really have to break everything, Polly? Like, do you really have to? <laughs> Ugh. Right. 
Get out of the way, Pete. Come on. Continue your cooking. Oh, and they're bonding. That's good. All right. And call to meal guests. You don't need two balls. And Pete, you're not hungry for it, are you? You'd rather be king. Right. Holly, you go and tend your garden. George, are you not want to clean up her bowls or nothing? No. I guess not. If this came with the uh, generations as well, the um, being king thing, there's also like a one for playing in the tub and another one which I will show you right now is go for a joyride, which is cute as well. You've probably seen it all before, but um, yeah, it might take them a while to change the outfits, you know what this is like. Um, she's getting on with her garden. We could sell these. Oops. Yep, so here he is, about to go for his joyride. So that came with, um, that came with generations as well. There's a lot of cute little interaction things that did come with the generations. Um, yeah, and these set uh, booby trap things came with them as well, which is good. Um, she needs to sell her tomatoes, so we'll do that. And we'll sell apples as well. We'll do that. And how much do we need? Two. Um, I don't know. Oh, and we've got some of these red berry things to sell, which has given us quite a bit of money. So, we're now a clod hopper, whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Look, don't be rude to George, come on. And he's got this little mood like king for a day. Presiding over royal court is hard work. There are so many requests from the pin, yeah, whatever, to attend to. Went for a joyride. Vroom vroom. Rev your imaginary engine and wait. Rev your imaginary engine like racing legend Lunardone on the track. At least I think that's what that says. Um. Okay, are you done with your garden? No, you're still tending it. And it's night time again. <laughs> Ugh. Our sleeping schedules are boogered. And there's no monsters under the bed tonight. Phew, it was all in your imagination. There are no monsters under the bed this time. Um, are we about done? <laughs> oh, he's not happy at something anyway. Right, how about you repair that? Pete, what about if you clean up your dishes a little bit? And actually, before you repair it, how about we ask you to spend the night again? Um, I don't know. Maybe he is already spending the night. Who knows? Uh, repair that, though. Why can't you use the toilet sink? Like, really? <sighs> okay. And after that you can just go and mop up this puddle and unclog the toilet. A day of chores for Holly, I think. Um, but Pete, yeah, he wants a baker's half dozen stand, which we could get. I don't know how much it costs. So let's just have a little look, see how much it costs. Um, it's only 75 so we can get that and put that out front like that and he could yeah we're going to need a little cooker though aren't we I don't know maybe I've never really done this before but we can do it 
Mm, possibly. We'll buy him a little cooker as well. Alright. Um, and how about you actually go and do that now then? You can bake a plate of muffin. Vanilla muffin. Um, okay. So you can actually just use that and then shower and then you can go ahead and um, compliment his appearance. I do that a lot. Uh, let's dip kiss. <laughs> right. Oh, he burnt his muffins. Uh, okay. So is that what you're meant to do anyways? It's like Use a kid's oven to make some sweets. Well, I did try. Bake. Bake a plate of blueberry muffins. Try that. See how you get on. Don't just leave your muffins. Come on. Oh, he's checking for monsters again. Um, right. Where, where did those... I heard the aliens. Where are you? I heard them. I don't see them. Whatever. Oh, they're right there. Okay. Where are you? Oh, it's Holly. <laughs> what is she wearing? What are you wearing, Holly? That is not your clothes. Where did they come from? The heck? What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Holly, what? the freak are you wearing? Change to every day. Come on. I don't know what you're doing. There we go. That's better. Um, right. Romantic and hold hands. Heat of the moment kiss. Embrace. And massage. Hey, what are you doing? No, don't make a silly face Tom. How about you go and see this alien here? Friendly introduction to the alien. How about you do that? Come on. Or you could just stand awkwardly while your mum and your future father flirt. Up to you. <laughs> okay. You just watch them then. You do that. Uh, romantic and a stroke cheek. No. Um, romantic. Whisper in ear. Um, propose. Going steady. Oh, Pete, it's like 2 in the morning. How about you go to bed? You should not be up at this time. Yay, he's our boyfriend. And should we propose marriage? Should we? Should we? Should we? Let's propose marriage. Mm. All right, and then let's um. Have we got the ass to move in? So we want them to move in. Um. Ricker Fizzwitz. I want him to move in. Right, hang on. Zoom out. Where's he off to? I don't even know. Um. No, I suppose we'll try and get him to move in another day then. Fine, what's she doing? She's going to have one of the burnt muffins by the looks of things. So that's I'm engaged, so she could have her bachelorette party. She doesn't want it right now though. Um, yeah, and we'll just have her go to bed. Alright, so I think I'll end this part here and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!